put your hands together for our next fighter to the cage, Hamza Shah! This is his BBFS debut, so it's Hamza the Colossal Shah. This is his debut fight, fight now Luton. Um, he's had a non-contact karate bout in the past. His fighting strength has gone down as his bent for it. And um, he's excited to be here, nervous, he's looking forward to the experience. He's been training for four years and he initially started combat sports just to witness. His favorite fighter of all time is Fedor Emilian Enko. And his goal is just to carry on training and improve himself. And this is a heavyweight MMA bout. And it's sponsored by Hijama Specialist. Can you please put your hands together for his opponent? Oh, bro! So, facing Hamza, we have Oh, bad boy Brown. Um, a local fighter. What can you say about Oh? He's done it all, really. I mean, he's he's fought pro level. He's he's fought in um, boxing. Uh, now tonight he's fighting a no headshot uh, MMA bout. Very experienced. Um, he, I mean, he's, he's I think he's. I mean, how old is he? Show? I mean, he must be in his forties now. Uh, I'd say probably coming up to fifty. If 50 not, yeah, 50, 50. I mean, fair play. I mean, he's, no he's disrespect to that age, by the way. No, no, this, this is it. This is yeah. what I'm trying to say. This is fantastic to see. Uh, just two people at that age. He's testable. He's an good example to anyone who's been out there. It's just too late. No, no, no. He's, he's, he's certainly he's been around the block a few times. And as you mentioned, he's, you know, he's, he's got the experience. He's, you know, he's, he's been in the cage. He's fought on a different level. Let's see how I'm going to start This is a heavyweight MMA bout. In the blue corner, fighting at a Luton Ultima athlete, Hamza Shah! <laughs> and his opponent, in the red corner, fighting at Windsor Team SWS. Oh, bro! Our referee, Chris Bachelor. Sam Zashar, Sam Creasy and Faisal Malik in his corner. And you've got Gary Banks of SWS Fight Team in the corner of Oh Bad Boy Brown. Touch gloves do both fires. Oh, oh bit of just went for a hole there. I don't blame him to be honest with you. Okay, so go. So, by big body shots here by Hamza. I don't think I like that. He's gone for a single leg straight. Lovely away. takedown there by Earl Brown. Single leg takedown. Hamza's doing the right job by trying to keep Earl at bay. Oh, that's great work by Earl there. Fantastic. So a lovely movement into and transition. Um, almost went for the mount, but did it the long way. That's not the way you want to do it. Yeah, should have gone neon belly, then slid over. Yeah, I mean, Hamza is a blue belt uh, in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So, you know, I mean, testament to Earl there. Did very well. I mean, Earl, renowned to be a striker more than a grand guy, but I tell you what, he's showing some new, new skills here. Nice control there by Earl. Nice to get that knee out. Hamza doing well here just to separate himself. Hamza's gone for a blur from the other side, but I don't know how much impact that's going to have from side control, um, uh, excuse me, from the half guard. Going for the lockdown with the foot as well as Hamza. He needs to try and shrimp that leg out from underneath Earl. I mean, Earl's strong. He's got, he'll, he'll battle that. Um, I think he's got, he's got, he's got that. That's a nice sweep there. Nice, nice recovery from Earl. He needs he's to drop his hips down. there. Yeah. He needs to drop his hips down. He's doing exactly that, as you say, that fuzzle. Great work by Earl. Hamza needs to cage walk here. He needs to start bridging up. So it's, you know, he needs to start getting that knee. Then he's pulling half guard. But it's hard to do against the cage. I'll go for the front headlock here. Only needs to stand up, get his leg over. Standing guillotine, maybe. Hamza needs to come forward here. Oh, nice. Right through the head. 
Oh, went for the inside leg trip there, unorthodox, but trying to make something work, trying to make him react. Only to like drag him down towards him a bit. Hamza needs to drive. I mean, now that he's got Earl against the cage, he needs to keep him there. You know, lovely, pulls the single leg away, puts Earl on his back, exactly what he's supposed to do. Pops his head out as well. Great work there by Hamza. Again, a lazy mount attempt. He, did, he should have put the knee on Billy and stayed across. I think it was the cage. The cage was way there. All right. But Earl's foot against the cage. Maybe he can power <laughs> off. Hamza Shah peppering the body. Hamza using his size there to try and get yeah. through Earl's, uh, Earl's guard. Hamza's heavy on top, keeping his man that, there. Yeah. You know, he's, he's, he's good, he's scoring well from that position. Peppering the body yeah, is Hamza. Even, even though this is amateur MMA, those strikes from guys that big to your ribs is, is not going to be nice. There's, there's a lot of, lot of force behind those punches there. I mean, judging by the first round, I don't think uh, Earl wants to be at the bottom of uh, Hamza because I, I felt like he really struggled there. Yeah, certainly say that the fatigue will set in as the rounds go on. Nice inside leg kick. Hamza's Hamza just bullying him, trying to get him down. Hamza's warm now, Hamza Shah. You know, you can tell he's, he's had a feel of the first round now. You know, any pre-fight nerves would have gone now, and it's... He's he's driving really well here. He's That's driving right. for that leg. I mean, Earl hasn't got room to sprawl, unfortunately. But Hamza's done really well to, to pull the other leg away. And he could potentially be in, in mount position, but Earl's got that head. He's clamping onto that head. Yeah. It's going to make things uncomfortable for Hamza Shah, but saying that Hamza's just popped his head out. <laughs> I mean, I mean, something you're in a position like that, it's not really threatening, is it? It's more kind of making you uncomfortable. I agree. Oh, this is a cage walk, you know, he's getting a bit lazy there now. He should have used that opportunity oh, to. This is a very bad position for uh, oh, if, uh, if Hamza takes them out. Punch to the face there accidentally. I think the heat at the moment just gets to you at this point. Well, I don't know if. Yeah, how, how bad that's affected Earl there. I mean, I never saw that. I mean, he took a shot to the face. Oh, okay. It was like almost. I'm sure it was unintentional. He went, you know, he went to oh. hit the body, but <laughs> Earl's trying to buy a little bit of time. Referee's trying, he's urging him to get straight back up. He's in every right to sort of buy that time, in all honesty, because if he has been caught yeah. in the face, yeah. uh, you know, he has up to five minutes to recover, believe it or not. Uh, I mean, this. I mean, it, it, I mean, the timing there. I mean, in terms of Hamza, he, like you said earlier, nerves in the beginning, but he's really coming into his own in the last sort of since the first kind of couple of minutes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, just a warning there to Hamza Shah from Chris Batchelder, our referee. Accidental headshot in this C-class MMA rules. Oh, I think it. I think Earl just hit him in the face there. Oh, the body shots. And just unloaded on the body there. Yeah. He's going to try and turn him here. Earl. Earl had the under over. Over under, even. I think he's got oh. it. Hamza did well there. I think he felt he was in trouble for a second and then just fell to the floor in order to release that. Choke, which Earl had him in <laughs> big heavy shots there. Hamza slowly but surely passing to Mount. Great work. Fantastic this work. is an opportunity for Hamza to take Earl's back. He needs to put his pressure. He's getting, he needs to get his hips down so he can he can get Earl straight flat in front of him. Earl's getting worn from the referee. Hamza's too the high up. He needs to get further. He needs to get those hips further back down so he can stretch Earl out. So and there we go. He's just done that, but there's no point in punching his back here. He should go for that submission. No. <laughs> Hamza gets a warning for punching the back of this fight. He needs to search for that choke. Hamza's peppering the, sh the ribs there. He needs to do something like get a cross face, make Earl oh, feel very uncomfortable so he can sink the other arm inside. Earl needs to lose neck. the hooks. I think he already feels quite com uncomfortable with the hair fuzzle, but, uh, but yeah, you're right. He needs to get his, uh, you know, get his hand underneath his uh, chin. 
Earl's keeping his chin tucked and quite tight every time Hamza yeah. brings his neck around. Okay, so moves into Matt. Hamza's got an arm trap from the top, could attempt a triangle with that arm trapped, throw his left leg round, but saying that will come to the end of the second round. I think he was happy to just ride that one out. Yeah, desperate measures there now for Earl Brown. He's really going to have to put, pull something out of the bag. <coughs> Third and final round. Guys, <coughs> touch the gloves, and off they go in this heavyweight MMA bout. That's it. Another accidental shot to the face there from Hamza Shah. If he's, if he's going to throw those punches, he just needs to go. <coughs> okay, that's a point deduction there for Hamza Shah. I don't know, second yeah. or third accidental shot to yeah, the face there. I'm not sure about that, to be honest with you, because, I mean, Earl's planted a couple on Hamza, um, and I'm more often than Hamza has. <laughs> so, I mean, I, mean it, I think you have to be consistent in, this, in, I mean, in those matters. Physically, <laughs> you're right, I think Hamza's looked like he's taken more of the shot to the face you know, there. But, you know, when these things happen, it's amateur MMA, and you know, guys who are used to fighting full contacts in a gym, uh, yeah. Well, this is it. If you're going to do striking in these kind of fights, you just got to swing for the body, uh, and you know, underutilize. I, I, I was doing it earlier on, leg kicks. Yeah, I mean, he's a, he's a wily veteran. I mean, he's going to use all the tricks of the book here. I mean, he's, you know, he's going to he's going to take take the full kind of advantage of, of the time. Talking to each other, need to get on with it. Well, this is what we like to see, you know, sportsmanship. Those leg kicks. <laughs> You're right, Earl has got those heavy leg kicks, and, you know, they're causing damage, because Hamza Shah's not exactly checking them, is he? No. no. Oh, again, trade yeah. work. That was the third time. Nice D as well. Third or fourth time Earl landed that leg kick as oh. well. The scramble, oh, here unfortunately. We go. Earl's got, he's, he's got to try and get back up onto his feet if he can. It looks like that won't happen now. I think he's just losing it in those scrambles, isn't he, really? I think Hamza's just got that, he's that bit more kind of uh, he's fitter and kind of more nimble. He's, he's using his weight more uh, he's, he's effectively. And a big man who, can, who knows how to use his weight effectively is a dangerous man. We can see the, the elbow or the forearm and the neck really making it uncomfortable for... Uh, oh. Yeah. Looks like he's trying to set something up. He's, he's riding his knees up high underneath Earl's arms, uh, armpits, sorry. Let's get the chicken wings just to keep his balance in case Earl decides to bridge, go for the sweep. But, you know, he's doing all the right things as Hamza Shah, putting his chest on chest, his head to the mat, you know, all that extra pressure from top. And you can tell his, his top game's really heavy. I mean, Earl's struggling to shrimp, and um, with him being in, in that position, you know, he, he's winning the fight, you know, he's on top in the judge's eyes. Um, Oh, really needs to do something. I mean, it looks like Hamza's trying to yeah. set up an armbar. Yeah, it looks like the way he's moving his body there. You're right. Oh, we need to be careful. I think uh, I think he'll he'll go for a Kimura instead. Kimura attempt, but Earl's his, his weight's not on him enough. to that. Yeah. Hamza, he needs to trap one of those arms up near Earl's ears and then just open up the rib and just. Just pummel away. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure about that stand up there. So what do you think? I don't know. He was he was scoring, but I think for the for the fans in attendance, probably not enough action in Chris Batchel with his eyes. I think he was he was trying to set up that arm bar as Fuzzle was saying. But yeah. anyway, both fires are up. Big knee thrown there by Old Brown. Goes for the neck again. Using it. That's good base now from Earl. Not going to not looking to get taken down now. It's going to make it really more difficult for Hamza Shah to take him down. Hamza needs to step inside that left leg and pull out Earl's right leg and, and just drive forward. Ten seconds of the back. <coughs> Earl looking for a standing count maybe, but no, he's released the other arm. He's gone for the over under with the arm. Lead to the body. That's the end of that heavyweight MMA bout. Put your hands together for both fighters, please! Our winner by unanimous decision, the blue corner, Hamza Shah! Great work there by Hamza Shah, the ultimate athlete from Luton.
Yeah, yeah, I mean, that was the correct decision. Great work there. I mean, um, oh, Warrior tried his best there. Oh, yeah, was a warrior, you know. Uh, he's been around the block. Absolute gentleman as well. And it's great sportsmanship, even though these guys would, you know, hit each other in the face. No one was looking at the referee saying, oh, you know, like we've seen in some of the other bouts. You know, these guys, you know, they're used to that. They just get on with it. So, guys, we have a 15-minute interval. Great bout.